And, but we're going to chap, put some chapstick on our lips, you know, keep those moisturized. Don't want those to be dried out as we put on our lipstick. And so we're going into this 23 Shades palette by Nika K. And oh my gosh, y'all, like I really like this palette. But first, let's put on the eyeshadow base. I got the white base by NYX. And it works miracles. Like it really helps your colors stick out. And I'm a really big fan of it. So next, after we do this, I'm going to actually take a nude um flat brush and i'm gonna uh, put that under my eyebrows like like how you bake like sit under your eyebrows like i've done it a lot of times so you guys have already seen it and so now we're going to go back in with a darker like warm shade and i'm going to apply that all through my crease and like nothing's good like having a good transition shade so we're just going to keep applying it all through our crease and work it through make sure it's blended girls make sure it's blended and I'm just listening to Pretty Little Things by J. Cole. Yeah, when I tell y'all he snapped with this song, he snapped. Okay, <laughs> let me get back to what we were talking about. And now I'm going to go in with that chocolatey shade next to the black. It's like a dark chocolate. And we're going to use that to define our crease. And you're going to use more a more precise brush when you do so. So you're just going to go in with it and back and forth. And, you know, deep, deepen up that crease. Yeah, I'm telling you, the song bomb. So I just I can't stop dancing. And so now I'm going to take LA Girl Pro. And that is the shade Toffee. For some reason, my camera wasn't um, focusing or whatever. But I'm going to use that to cut my crease. And just going to get a good amount of that on our own hand. Because I always put my concealer on my hand or whatever. And I feel like the more concealer, the sharper it is. I don't know. Probably a stupid analogy. But that's what I like. That's truly what I believe. And so I'm just going to use that to cut my crease. And it is so hard cutting my crease, like, which isn't just holding, like, a handheld mirror. I'm so used to, like, sitting on the countertop and doing my makeup. Like, it's just a bad habit that I have. So, yeah. So I'm just cutting my crease right there. Now I'm going to go in with that shade that looks white. It's not necessarily white. It's more of a cream look, but it just looks white on camera. And I'm going to apply that to the beginning of my, um... The beginning of my cut crease or whatever so yeah i'm gonna put that like in the front area and then i'm still singing y'all i'm still singing we're gonna take that darker like nudie color and put that on the outer area of our cut crease and you're just gonna keep blending and packing it on because i feel like when you pack it on as much it's like way better yeah but yeah we're gonna keep packing that on and we're only doing one eye just for the simple fact of this halloween look that we are going for like you're gonna see it all come together now i'm taking the chocolate shade and i'm just going back in with that same brush i had before and blending out my outer edge so it wasn't be so it wouldn't be like a harsh line afterwards but yeah so that's like pretty much it apart from liner and stuff like that Look, I'm telling y'all, it's a bomb. I'm telling you, like, you should really go get this palette. But now I'm going to get my Dream Street palette um, by ColourPop. I want to say it's with Shinixo. I'm, I'm sorry, I never know how to say her name, but she's a really famous YouTuber. And I'm going to take the shade Star, Star or something like that. I'll correct it if I said it wrong. And I'm going to, like, use that to highlight my inner corners and brow bone. And using, you know, like a little flattened brush when I did that. So now I'm taking the Born This Way foundation the, with the Jackie Anna collab. Um, Jackie Anna, what shade was this? Oh, y'all, like, I'm really, like, looking. I remember, but I don't feel like getting up to go look for the foundation, but I'm so not sure. So I'm going to have to, like, put it down below, put it on the video, either in the description box, but it's for sure the Born This Way um, foundation. And so we're just going to use that, and I'm going to blend it out with the brush. And keep in mind that we only put it in this certain area because that's the only area of our face that's going to be beat. Because the rest of our face is going to be a jack o' lantern. So I'm really just going on my regular face routine. You know, probably I don't know if I should have showed you guys this, but I did. So here it goes. And yeah, so just, you know, going to keep doing that and all that good stuff. Now we're going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. Um, it, it's just, I just put a little bit because it's really, really like way lighter than me. 
I put that on like the inner parts of my highlight and then on the outer edge I put toffee or cool tan by LA girl pro and I use that and I blend it out well I use that yeah like on the outer edges as you see me putting on the outer edges of that and then I blend it out and I use this brush right here for everything like literally I just so happen to fall in love with I'm really I'm I'm kind of over beauty blenders um I have a real one but I mean they're nice and all but I just prefer to use brushes it's a lot of less work on my hand it's probably because I'm lazy y'all I'm hell oh I'm with cussed I'm lazy So now I'm going to take our Sacha Buttercup, y'all. I haven't used any other um, setting spray, not setting spray, setting powder. And I really need to, like, expand my horizons with the setting powders. So I think I'm going to go out and buy the Laura Mercier, Mercier or Airspun and see how that goes. Because I've never used, like, a white setting powder. I've always been scared to use them, scared of flashback. And, like, the yellow just does me good. But, yeah, we're just going to use that to set our areas that we highlighted and contoured like we're literally doing like a mini face on one side of our one corner of our face like one fourth of our face is literally going to be beat so now you're going to take a big fluffy brush and take it down now i'm taking the maybelline fit me shade in 125 and i'm using that on the rest of my face like and you're going to get that all over your face because it's a good base so once you blend it out we're going to take that orange i just pointed to and we're going to put that all over our face like literally like we're going to like try to build up as much as we can um i really wish i would have bought like a white base i don't know but i don't know what it is that they always buy it's like a white base or something like that i don't know what it's called but yeah that would have been pretty i think that would have came in handy for it but i'm using like straight makeup like stuff that you already have at home so yeah you just use a two light um, foundation shade and now i'm going to go in with a red like a reddish um a reddish shade from the take me to brazil palette it's more it has red but like an orange undertone like that red orange look and we're going to use that to blend around the edges of where my skin meets my beat where my jack-o-lantern meets my beat and for my purposes i'm not going all the way down to my neck because if i was wearing this i would do a turtleneck with it and plus i do not feel like cleaning up all that makeup like no it's just not gonna it's just not gonna cut it it's just not gonna cut it so now I want to take a concealer and you know how the pumpkins have ridges in it. I'm going to draw your ridges down. Now, and to define those ridges, we're going to take a darker, more vibrant orange and blend on top of them. I'm just going to blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. And keep doing that until like you don't see the concealer anymore. And then we're going to go back in with that chocolatey dark shade from the Nika K palette. And we're going to define the lines even more. So you're going to keep blending downward and outward not downward but like along the lines and the concealer line should be somewhat underneath that so it should help you like see it or whatever and yeah so that's what we're doing then we're going to go in with that light orange and we're going to put that in between like um in between like the lines of the jack-o-lantern like on top because it helps give it more dimension i don't know how to explain it exactly but like you're going to just put it in between like the dark and orange red jack-o-lantern lines like huh. now we're taking the hd black the black hd gel concealer by ruby kisses and we're going to use that to like outline our stuff so now you see me like outlining where the jack-o-lantern be like where the rip is out my face i don't know how to explain what it's called and then i'm going to draw a triangle around my eyes and we're later going to fill that in but i might i think yeah i did put this in the video so you're going to see me fill that in later and next we're going to do the nose and when we did the nose oh my god it took forever like it shouldn't have taken that long like to do my nose but it just i couldn't i just didn't remember the shape i was going for and so it's just i just i don't know y'all it was just a mess it just took me like too 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 long but shortly after we get done with the nose we're gonna move on to our lips i know the video hasn't gotten to our lips yet but we're gonna move on to our lips and as we're doing our lips you're gonna see the clip change as we're doing our lips like you're gonna go outward right there like from the corner of your lip like that right there would have been enough but i don't know i'm extra but you're gonna go outward right there with your lips and just like make it look longer than what it is 
Cause, and then after that, you're just going to connect it to your top and bottom lip. You're, you're, the rest of your lip is going to get filled in with black. And it's really that simple. Same thing with the eye. Fill the eye in with the black. And you're going to be pretty much done with it after you fill it in. And so I guess, like, I didn't know if you guys wanted to see me fill it in. So I just, like, lifted it there just so you guys can see me, like, get done filling it in or whatever. And after that, you get done filling it in, guess what's next? You're going to set all that black stuff with powder, like with um black eyeshadow. So you're just going to see me do that shortly as well after I get done filling in my eye. So yeah, you see me filling it in and I set even my lips with the black powder. And now we're going to go along the line of the jack-o'-lantern, like the tear of my skin, what represents like the tear of my skin. We're going to go along that line with black and that's why i put the orange and stuff under it because that's what just helps you know so now you're going to take um a liquid wet and wild liquid concealer liquid concealer y'all i'm slow liquid eyeliner and you're just going to like draw little lines like peeking out through your black as if like the black's wasted um you probably couldn't see as much as when i did it on my mouth but you're going to see once i add on to like the lines of the jack-o'-lantern or whatever but it's just literally like little strokes and stuff. And you vary them. Make them short, long, thick, skinny, and all that. Like, yeah. Like, you see what I'm doing right here? Like that. That's the best I could explain to y'all. So you can see, like, you know, like the Joker kind of look. But now you're just going to see me put glitter all over here or whatever. And, um, yeah. Like, it's like this glitter pen by Revlon. I'm going to link everything below. Because when I was showing it on camera, it wasn't focusing. It's like, when no purpose of putting it on there. But now you're going to see me pat that with my hand or whatever to help just spread it out a little bit. Because I didn't want too much glitter on it. And, it, you know, glitter is so hard to get off. Like, y'all, I, so I was up that long trying to get it off. Now we're going to take a clear um, liquid, a clear eyeshadow, eye, eyelash glue. We're going to take the clear eyelash glue. And for everyone who follows me, like, knows this is what I use, like, as an adhesive for my glitter and I'm going to take a silver glitter by Nika K and yeah so that's how I did it in my camera unfortunately my camera cut off but this is the final look right here I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was kind of fast-paced but I thought it was really like yeah but you know you're a glam monster